Hi, my name is Lance Followell from Fremont College. Today we'll be working on Chris's knee and we're gonna do a treatment for basically just generalized knee pain. So somebody will be coming to you with undiagnosed knee pain that's not too severe, um, where you actually probably need to refer them for consultation with an orthopedic surgeon or their general practitioner. What I'm gonna do first with Chris is I'm actually gonna work the muscles around the knee and uh, ligaments on the side and see if we can get these relaxed so there's possibility that we can lessen the pain around the knee due to possibly hypertonic muscles. So let's get a little bit of lotion going on Chris. So I'm just going to do a little, some compressive effleurage to the quad. A little petrissage. Kneading stroke. Get those fibers spread out. Blood flow in there. Relax that muscle. If you need to, you can get in there and do some little bit of deeper work with the forearm. Lengthen that tissue out. I'm gonna work on the medial side of the knee right now. See if we can get in that, those collateral ligaments also known as the tibial collateral. Just doing some circular frictioning along the medial side. Just get in here, do some circular frictioning. Get in here and do a little bit of thumb strokes. a little bit of the adductor. I'm not going to work too much of the adductors, but if that was an issue with tension, I would get in there and work them more. I would do the same thing. I'm going to work on the lateral side and get the lateral collateral. bit of circular friction over here also. Come back up, work the VMO a little bit on this side. Doing some circular friction along that VMO. Just finish up with some lengthening strokes again. And then just work a little bit around the patella itself. Not necessarily moving it around, just working around it. And actually do a little bit of frictioning on the quadricep tendon. We'll take the lotion off in order to do the specific work around the patella that we're gonna do next.
I'm going to come down, I'm going to work the patellar tendon. Again, maybe 20 seconds or so at each spot. If it's tender in this area, it's okay. Possibly they have a patellar tendonitis issue. What we can do here is just work around the knee and possibly take away some of their pain or discomfort. At this point, I would actually turn Chris over and work the gastroc soleus complex, the hamstrings on the back because they both cross the knee and make sure that those are worked. Work a little bit on the anterior tib over here, perineals. It's always good to work above and below the joint and anteriorly and posteriorly. The next thing I'll be doing will be the um, frictioning around the patella after I remove the lotion so I have better contact.